All right, Anthony, what are you doing on these panels right now? We're putting the, uh, the brackets, they go here, to mount against the uh, floor to raise the solar panel. Put them on the roof. And then we're throwing them up there, right? Yep. All, all nine of them? All nine. West, we are going to work on the power wall. We're going to install more of the solar panels up on the roof. Let's go check it out. And here are the cables, pre-made. The big plastic gets the little copper. Yes. The little copper gets the big plastic. And these are to connect uh, these nine panels right. parallel. So, so we're doing a, a 3P 3S. Actually, we're doing 3S, 3P. So you're using three, and then we're paralleling all three of those together. So we have our parallel uh, three by three connectors yeah, over there. Down. And then these are just to kind of reach the, just little jumpers to get the furthest panels. Each panel's rated at nine amps, and our connectors and our cables rated at 30. So full peak will have uh, 27 amps theoretically off the panel. I don't think we'll ever see that, because no. we're not on the equator. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, that being said, you know, we've been seeing like 20 something amps come off the roof. So uh, we should we should see uh, 40 amps at 45 amps at 100 and something volts. Wow. Um, so yeah, close to 5K. 5K? 5K. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's the goal. It's not shabby at all. Why does the panel with the camera give us the <laughs> toughest time? It's been raining, so there's a little bit of water here. But these are sealed, so there should be no problem. Higher voltage. 103, 105. Oh, there, there it goes. goes. 59, 60 volt out. I'm thinking this will hit 1.3. Really? No, actually, we just got some clouds come over. So, yeah, look at that. It's just going to hang at 750 because the clouds. So then we will punch in more power. Bye. Woo! So it didn't quite double it. So that's interesting. So the, uh, I don't know 15. if it's dirt, because they're dirtier. Yeah, the old ones? The old ones, but they're not putting out as much. Yeah. But that being said, on a super cloudy day, we're putting 26 amps into our battery right now. Yeah, or 15, awesome. 1600 watts. Yeah, we watts. should easily be able to double that and do yeah, we should be able to do a lot more. Wow, look at that. Our voltage jumped all the way up to 62. That's cool. Yeah, you could almost straight charge a car. Look at that. We're doing 2.2. Yeah, you can charge a car now, right? Well, almost. You could almost charge yeah. a car straight out of this. Right. I mean, you, you know? can because here we are in the middle of winter uh, on a cloudy yeah. day. 
Yeah. So on a typical Southern California day, our solar will put out more than the charger. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that means during the daytime, we shouldn't be depleting this. So maybe we don't need a bigger battery after all. Maybe we just needed the panels. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. exciting. And we got plenty of cars to charge here the any given day. Because of the clouds, it already dropped to 1.6. So today, uh, with the sun at that drastic of an angle, it mm -hmm. still will put like almost probably three, three kilowatts if it was. Yeah, if it wasn't cloudy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it'll probably clear up here in a little bit. We'll take a look at it. <clears throat> but that's great because we're, I mean, it's already almost full in the battery. And uh, got some cars to charge. Let's plug them in. You probably need to charge your bus. Yes. yes. Yeah, plug it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you don't have J1772. Hmm. Readers and viewers and followers of Jehu, I urge you to send him uh, a message, uh, <laughs> a direct message, uh, a comment. Tell them to come up to speed and <laughs> get a level two charge port. It's all right. That was like an hour worth of work. Yeah, it's about an hour, right? Yeah. Do you have all those handles hooked up? We're done. They're hooked up and plugged in. Yep, they're hooked Charging. Up right now. We're, we're pulling. Wow. At this point, you might be asking yourself, why is Spencer taking this perfectly good battery apart? Why are you taking this perfectly good battery apart? Because we want to make smaller batteries that go into other things. Okay. <laughs> the cooling from leaking out while you're handling these. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? There you go. Little rubber nipples, man. Couldn't you just remove this thing? Yeah. So that's how you take a Model S battery apart. And I'm losing my voice. <laughs> <laughs>